taken four over for the derby. Um, there's uh, Knockglass Billy, there's Holborn Junior, there's Cambridge Moor and Cabra Buck. Knockglass Billy's running for a day. Um, he won the laurels for us. He's a really good early pace dog. Uh, he's a local dog to Cork, so it's a, it's a great thrill to win the laurels. And uh, he ran in the final of the national sprint and basically we sort of bringing him back this year. He ran in the race of champions and he ran in a rerun and he was second. And we've had a little bit of a problem with a dislocating toe, but it seemed to have got that sorted out. Didn't think we were going to take him over for the derby, but he's been galloping that well. And he's got a free entry, so we thought we'd take our chance. He had a sprint trial and went well. So he's in a four-dog qualifier draw on the inside, so catch me if you can. And hope, hope, hopefully we're qualifying. He can only improve as the competition goes on. Uh, Holborn Junior, he's, he's a young dog. Um, probably a little bit too young for the derby, but he's got real determination, very quick. Um, ran in the produce stakes. Got badly drawn in most of the rounds except the first round. He was in one, desperately wants the inside. Not the best of dogs to come away, but really electric early when his feet hit the ground. But he's very determined at the first bend to get to the rail. Uh, he's out in four, not an ideal draw for him, but I'm told they, they break well in four in the middle of the traps at Wimbledon, so we're hoping he's got a good dog with Philo Warhawk on his inside. So we're just hoping he either goes behind Philo Warhawk or, or, or can make the bend in front of him because he's, when, he, when he's at the bend, he's desperate to go in. Yet again, he trialled on the Wednesday. Uh, wasn't allowed to have solos, had to have two dog trials. And we put two of our dogs in together and basically Cabler Buck got to the bend with him and chopped him off and he did the same at the third bend. So he should improve a lot after the trial. Um, getting the right draws, the dog will go a long way. Cambridge Moor runs on the Saturday night, drawn trap one. He's, uh, he won the national sprint, good early pace dog. Ran the night of champions, didn't quite break. <sighs> Found that he had a bit, little bit of a shoulder. He's uh, been working very well again at home. Ran, ran a couple of decent sprint trials around Shelbourne Park and then ran in a sprint open at uh, Clonmel. Ran very well, didn't break, but ran very well. Trials uh, Wimbledon on the Wednesday. Asked for an inside box, had a dog up his inside and found a lot of trouble in the trial. So he was crowded badly at the first and ran the last two bends. So he's come out of it OK, but the, the trial wasn't a great trial. You know, it's, it's a 2950, so we, di we were disappointed in it, but we could see why he didn't do a better run. Yet again, um, hasn't had much sort of four-bend work. He's a fresh dog. Drawn track one, four-dog qualifier. Hope to qualify and improve with the competition. Um, Cabra Buck, he's, he's been a great little dog for us. Won a few competitions at um, Limerick when he started off. Uh, ran in the uh, St. Ledger in Limerick. Ran, for a young dog, ran very, very good, you know, very credible. Went up to Shelbourne then and he got the final of the Easter Cup. Uh, been running well against... Um, Bally McVick, uh, they've had a lot, of, lots of battles at the third bend. They've been sort of, uh, he's been on the wrong side of it. He, he's a little bit awkward dog where to sort of seed. He wants to be a railer at the bends, and he's a middle runner on the straights, middle to wide. And what he basically does, he, if the straights are wide enough, he go out to the hair rail, and then he wants to be back on the rail at the third bend. And he trialled with Holborn Junior, and that's what basically happened at Wimbledon. But I think he'll suit Wimbledon really well because. It's a long run to the bend, and they're tight straights. He can't drift off too wide. So he's not going to lose a length and a half like he does, say at Shelbourne or somewhere, and then try and come back in. I do think he's going to suit the track. We've put a middle seed on him, and um, he's got track four. I think he's well drawn. And he's a dog that's been running. He hasn't been overused, but he's fit. You know, he's he, with, with the knock glass Billy and probably Cambridge more. We're hoping to qualify for the first few rounds and run ourselves into fitness. The Holborn Junior dog and the Cabra Buck dog are probably that they're fit to. They're they're not far off of being right, if you know what I mean. Um, with the Derby coming up, it it is going to be quite difficult as a family. Um, you do look forward to it. It's a big race, and you know whenever you've got dogs in big races, you look forward and you dream. And I think if you didn't look forward and dream 
there's no point really having the dogs in the big races. Um, but logistics wise, it is going to be quite an undertaking. Um, myself and Christopher are travelling for the first round, maybe the second round. Uh, if we're lucky enough to get to the third round, then Graham will go and he'll stay. So then we're down a major part of the kennel. Um, he'll be away for hopefully, you know, if we were to be lucky enough to get to the final two weeks or more. And it, it's difficult. He makes a lot of the decisions when where we're racing the dogs. He's the driving force. He'd be out in the kennel seven days a week. Rain or shine, no matter if he's come back one o'clock in the morning, he's up and he's out there. Um, he's not a person that would take a day off. For him to have a day off, we have to literally put him in the vehicle and take him out of the gates or go on holiday because he doesn't do pastimes, hobbies, anything like that. It's dogs, 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 eat, breathe, sleep, dogs. Um, we're heading out on Thursday evening um, on the ferry from Dublin to Hollyhead. We'll be arriving into Hollyhead early Friday morning, travelling down to Nick Savers, give us time to get the dogs settled, let them out and just let them out and free themselves. And then we've got one runner Friday and the three runners on Saturday. And then we'll be heading back up to the ferry um, to get back home as soon as possible. We hope to be back at the kennels early Sunday afternoon, which would be great for the dogs. The young up-and-coming dog is Holborn Junior. But uh, he's relying on getting the inside draws and hopefully getting used to the new traps, you know, the Wimbledon traps, because he's not the best of dog to come out of box, and that's probably his downfall in the produce stakes. That even if he was in five, he's still coming out half a length down. So he's relying on the draws. But for actual speed wise, he's probably. Um, as the four dogs stand at the moment, if I put him in a four dog trial, I'll, if, I, if I boxed him up, him on the inside, he, he, he'd he be a hard dog to beat. So, Hunter Jr. is not for the derby? 